for this so long time we have been working on the power platform and created so many applications but have you tried to find out up to which extent your application is following the coding standards hey everyone this is prashant choudhury i welcome you all to my channel classy power app in this video i will be explaining you how we can check for our my application which extent it is following the coding standard so there is a tool developed by the microsoft advisory team whose name is power app code review tool this tool you can get it from the github and try to install in your environment and try to check on the applications so without wasting time i'm just taking it to the to my browser okay so that i can just tell you the each and every stage how you can make that tool available in your environment and how it will work so this is the part one of this series so in this video i will be explaining how we can install the particular solution or application into my environment okay so this is my browser my power platform browser so i have opened one github link okay this github link is i have uh, this from some blogs okay and i'll provide the link of this in the description of this video also and here you can see i have right now two different versions available okay one is in the managed form another one is the un unmanaged form okay so the thing is right now as i can see it's uh, updated yesterday only so it means right now it's uh, this system is, is still in the is in progress okay so the updates are keep on coming on a regular basis so if you are watching this video and at a time you, you find some other thing here so don't get confused you can get the previous version of this from by going to this archive file folder okay so let me just show you how you can do this so you need to first um, i'm just trying to use it this managed solution you can also download the unmanaged if you want to so let me just take the managed one and from here i can download this okay so it is started downloading now the thing is once you try to install this application this solution inside your environment there can be an issue like it would ask you that some there are some missing components okay some missing components are like because this solution has are using some type of custom controls that your environment might not have so if you try to run understand this readme text here you can see before importing this solution you need to import the power app cat creator uh, cat creator kit to your solution okay so you need to first install that kit into your into your environment because that kit is having so many controls some custom controls that would be used in this power app code review tool whose zip file i have just downloaded okay from here so you need to first download the power app power cat creator kit to your environment so this is a place they are asking us to navigate when you visit you might find that no not found so i start removing some urls so till here i removed till download and i reached to some still it is not here so i removed one more to the releases and here when i scroll down i find this one creator kit so this is the type of managed solution so i simply downloaded that okay and installed that into my environment okay so first you need to download this so you need to just click on this itself and download the file for you okay now coming back to your environment you can install this here first you need to create the install the creator kit how go to the import select and create a kit and open next so that's how it will like uh, there are some steps through which you can install so i have already installed this kit into my environment now the thing is like once it get installed because i have already in, uh, installed that and the visible is already installed because i have already installed that's that the reason it is not allowing me to install that so i have already installed that solution okay i can see in this inside this solution 
it's a managed type i have so many things it's the main important thing is the custom controls i have so many custom controls are here because this code review tool use some controls that you would find in this solution in this creator kit okay so before importing the cust uh, power app code review solution to your environment first install the creator kit code solution okay once you get all this all the component to your solution into your environment later you can come back and then again import your code review this is the architecture review okay open this and then click on the next and it's processing okay so i since i have already installed that but as a as a unmanaged type so that is the reason it is giving some warnings to me but if you are installing it for the first time it would not give you any, any type of issues okay so you can install it like that maybe let's me try if it won't give any error and then import so now it will take some time okay so for that i am just uh, pausing this video okay hey everyone coming back so now you can see this particular solution has been imported into my environment so let's time to just check what is there inside the solution i have so many controls i believe yes so many components are there around 99 oh so for today we have 99 but not sure in future how many you would find and here in the apps we have two different apps code review admin power app review tool one is type of model driven another one is type of the canvas so in this video i'm just focusing only on the installation part so i have told you in order to install the power app code review tool into your environment you need to first install the creator kit okay if that is already installed then you can directly go to the power app code review tool otherwise you need to first install the code re uh, creator kit then code review tool if you directly coming to the code review tool installing your solution you would find that there are some missing components okay and that missing component you would find in the creator kit okay because the code review tool is using the custom controls that you will find in the creator kit so stay tuned and let's connect in the next video in the next video i will be explaining how that tool can be used okay so thank you everyone thanks for watching